A campaigning group claims that prisoners of conscience in China could still be having their organs removed for transplants, despite official denials from the Chinese state that the practice persists. The allegations come from a tribunal set up by the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China, chaired by a former war crimes prosecutor. The Chinese authorities say the practice of taking organs from executed prisoners without their consent came to an end four years ago. This report from Matthew Hill. This secretly filmed footage captures transplant patients in a Beijing hospital last November. It appears to show transplant patients in a busy waiting room admitting they'd only waited a few weeks to receive their organ. The suspicion is there's a roaring black market in organs. In other countries, it can take years to receive a suitable matching organ, but here it's only weeks. So where are they coming from? China admits it used to take organs from executed prisoners and claims it stopped the practice in 2015. But campaigner Yu Ming believes organs are still being harvested from prisoners of conscience. While the full report of this tribunal has been released in the last few hours, it finds that there is uh, clear evidence of a supply chain of organs over many years, uh, the report says, from an unaccountable source. The tribunal being certain that it was indeed the Falun Gong, the Chinese religious sect, being used as a source, probably the principal source of organs for forced organ harvesting. This report adds that while it doesn't have sufficient evidence to reach the same conclusion for the Muslim Uyghur community, uh, the vulnerability of the Uyghurs to being used as a bank of organs is also obvious, that they are clearly vulnerable.